this hour, all of the blinking stoplights, mirage, the red carpet, and the homeless and the junk, they just become flickers. And I think that it figures because with you, everything would have been perfect. We could have worn these streets like house shoes once. Right up to the thousand rooftops where we pulled each other to bed every night and then hung an attic in the moon's waxing to keep safe our favorite kisses and when full, it would reveal to us all the corners that brought us to these heights. But in the days since I forgot how to fly, the only overhead lights and question marks and glam posts asking me why am I anywhere with them when I can still be with you tonight. You remember what I told you that one time? To look past them. Look past them and see how the twilight calls you its darling and its language of sparkle. And then to open a thousand doors of your face to me and let the stories behind me run out and pour into my eyes like wounded light from a murdered star. So when the sun was when they fall, you can recognize them as ourselves. To know that once we stuck these chests out dry and sea thirsty like lonely shores of matchboxes, but then fingers struck and our bodies felt flames before we ever saw them, that nothing has ever said you are. And you are full of fire like the stroke of the index finger along the collarbone. And it's this touch that has been censored inside of the same castle empires where you and I are the same men and the same women imprisoned by your own dream. And so I just want you to hold my hand. Grasp me. Grenade-like. And then let's swing these napalms against the walls between ourselves and the other seven billion pieces of God. And we did. And when I was inside of you, I swear to God that the buildings ripped free of the city like fruit slipping out of its peel. And out of the disaster, people everywhere bulleted through the capitals like rebellion and bottled fireflies. We broke the work weeks back between our grinding teeth until our bodies could take no more. And then when we came, it was in these war chants that shook all of the satellites out of the sky like a classroom of daydreamers. And then afterwards, when you and I clothed each other, awestruck, space sick, we just watched as the mobs descended upon all the police until all you could hear was a dying siren drowned out for what sounded like billions of fireflies returning to the sky. And they had the nerve to call our romance heroism. As you and I stumbled love drunk into true night, and we bent its road past madness to saw the sunrise of its good sense over this clearing where you and I had children who had everything that they could ever want, and they only knew of Ronald Reagan as a crucified bedtime story. And I want you to remember how no one did a thing could dream of doing a thing, because I was invincible when I was with you. So just please know that even when my bones become separated by time and its haunts and I become a, a spooky house or a dusty woodwind, the memory of you will stir me still. My wet eyelashes will xylophone your melody perfectly and you will stir me that way that you walked, which was the same way that we used to make love as if this world hadn't broken into our hips and our backs much too early for us to be so proud of these bodies. And I remember we were, we were pretty proud in those days. I am trying to say that I really miss that scarf you made for me. <laughs> Even though it wasn't very comfortable, it wasn't a good scarf. But I wore it like it was my cape and costume. And I really miss those, those moments of flying where we stood on rooftops and danced and there was no music. And those moments of telepathy where you and I held hands and it was really like we knew what the other was thinking. I, I, I miss having the unbelievable strength to lift the laughter out of you. Even on those nights when you mistook me for your shadow and you fought me for just being there and not going anywhere with you. And I, I don't have super strength anymore. I just I have these arms, so I'm giving you this. Because the other day when I saw you, you know, it was all wrong. Um, I remember that the clouds had rolled in like laughter, and the buildings and the satellites, they had us hemmed in like linebackers, like they were daring us to do something about it. And I just thought it was so strange that, you know, them, and all of the people who were on the street that day, 
but especially you. You forgot that we used to be superheroes together. Thank you. Thank you.